so where are we? Hmm. Monarch Pass, Continental Divide. They're very dippy. Yeah, buddy. Make what we do. Yeah, buddy. Uh, and then we ate a bunch. <laughs> it's pretty much gone away, but I'm pretty much in nap mode right now. We pretty much don't need to worry about timing because the guy works late tonight and it's only 1.30 and it's only 23 miles and it's pretty much a 6% grade all the way down. <laughs> Not too many worries on getting there in any period of time. We could probably do it in an hour. <laughs> Just about. Yeah. Oh yeah. So interesting. <laughs> you could still probably beat me because I'll probably hit the brakes a couple times. Well, yeah. <laughs> he, well, number one, I have the most weight on you guys by far. My tires won't let me go as fast as you guys anyway. I mean, I, I think I carry the most weight and I weigh the most. And I'm very, very conservative on my brake usage. <laughs> I only brake. That means unless I start wobbling, I don't use them. Or unless, <laughs> unless there's something in my way. <laughs> I, I've, done, long I've long done the wobbling. The wobbling is which, terrible. Which means like until I get above like 45 miles per hour, I don't usually push my brakes unless the road's rough. Because if the road's rough, I'll slow down a little bit because I don't want to hit a big pothole and go flying off the road. Wait, you don't want to break your collarbone? I think I'd break more than my collarbone if I crashed at 45 miles per hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at this point, you could just fly off your guardrail. <laughs> <laughs> off the edge of the mountain. Sometimes there's not even guardrails, there's just. Yeah, it's just uh, a problem. Like Utah. Utah did not believe in guardrails. <laughs> oh, yeah. Utah had too many drops. Oh, yeah. yeah. That would that make them broke. If didn't drive, it was like 50 miles of road that would have needed guardrails the entire way. There's some Jersey walls in parts. Yeah on the parts that were like a 20 mile per hour turn on a 14% grade. <laughs> the disconcerting part is when the jersey wall has dropped off the side of the road because the asphalt like caved in and you're like, oh, the side of the mountain is falling away. <laughs> I saw one of those like that actually yesterday. I was like, mm, this road is not stable. <laughs> That's disconcerting. Anyway, we look like we're hanging down a ski Yeah. It's cold. Kind of. Maybe you think it is. <laughs> uh, we're acclimating to elevation. That's yes. what we're doing. I don't know why we bother. We're just going back down right now. This is the highest we will be for the rest of the trip. By far. <laughs> From here. In two days, a day and a half, maybe. Outside Pueblo, it's flat. <laughs> After Pueblo, they don't have elevations until Missouri. They don't have elevation maps because Kansas is flat. I mean, it's got like a couple of little rolling hills, but nothing that you would, that it would look ridiculous to have an elevation map. Right? So Jesse and I were saying, would it be funny if we saw a tornado not in Kansas? Like, wouldn't it be funny if we went to Kansas and the weather was perfect and then we saw like a tornado in like Kentucky? <laughs> I mean, it might happen. It could. I mean, it's, it's the end of tornadoes. We could hit hurricanes yeah, in, we could in Virginia. Hurricanes. That would be fun. That would be. Exciting. That would you ever be. Bike in a I would actually. Uh, it, I we felt like we have biked in hurricanes already. Yeah, I would definitely get full use of my all of my rain wow. gear. <laughs> That's for sure. Your, your fenders. Uh, my fenders, my pants, my booties, my jacket, my gloves. You know all that stuff. I can get it down to the point where the only thing visible are my glasses and my nose. Today I saw <laughs> some bikers who you couldn't see any part of their face. They had like red bandana here. And something here, well, like sunglasses. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, when you're going 65 miles per hour, it's nice to not have a bug hit you in the cheek. <laughs> I swallowed a bug today at one point. I heard the back of my throat. That was yeah, exciting. I've been mean yesterday. I also got a bug hit me like right, like right in the cheek. It was a, like a bee or something like that because it hit me and I was like. <laughs> there was one time I was biking by this guy who was mowing their lawn and a rock hit me in the chest. Oh, yeah. and I was like, hey. 
I actually saw, do you remember that the strange guy in uh, Austin that was talking up about uh, biking across the country on his old bicycle? Oh, the, 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 yeah. He, he was talking about the guy who drove talk. out on the, on the, yeah. Do you remember, do you remember when he mentioned the, the, the truck driving by with the strap that like yeah, the, hit him on the back of the head or whatever? Or no, almost the PVC the pipe. The PVC pipe hit him on the back of the head. But the, um, no, there was a guy driving by with a loose strap that was left around. I saw a truck like that when we were coming up here. Uh, yeah. it, has, it, has, it has strap moments. It was, I, I was a little... Yeah. Well, there was there was a truck that passed yeah. me with a bunch of wraps on the back, and it had two wraps that were long ways on the bed of the truck. And it had one that was sticking out like six feet on either side, and it always hit me in the head when it went by because it was like a shadow passed over. It was like a cloud. I looked up, was like. <laughs> <laughs> today, today but there was. That is illegal because it was wider than the lane of traffic, so it didn't have flags on it. There was that one real oversized load. I saw the truck go by. <laughs> the one with the big. Uh, Big roundy things? No, no, today. Oh, today today there's some big old house frame thing. And I got off to the side, saw the flags, and it went it went around totally fine, but when it was back in the lane it was just all the way over the shoulder. So it was like some people are, there was actually one guy and I was like, if I see that guy in a parking lot I'm throwing a rock through his window. Because he um, the red like, neon. No, we were going through. Um, I was riding the town yesterday, and I was on that big flat stretch, or flat straight stretch, and um, there was a line of traffic. One or two cars went by, and they were all like over, you know, like a foot or so within the other line. And like he came over, and I was the shoulder at that point was like maybe eight feet wide. Yeah. And I was like two feet from like the edge of the road. I was like all the way over off the shoulder. And so like three cars pass by, and they're like hugging the yellow line. There's no cars in the other lane. This other truck comes by, and he passed like within two feet of me. He was like halfway in the shoulder, <laughs> and then he like, as soon as he passed me, he like started getting back over, and I was just like, I was like, if I see you in town, I am not only I'm gonna throw a rock through your tires, through your window, and I'm slashing your tires. <laughs> yeah, there was one point I was thinking that you know those emergency window breakers, the little hammer yeah, things, the little hammers that are just meant to break windows. You have one of those on your bike, and you can throw them at any window, and then you're going to shatter their window, no matter how it hits it, because they're just meant to destroy windows. It's really great. Tomahawk. Tomahawk. <laughs> 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 just, yeah, just, we can just carry bricks on our bikes. <laughs> you can mount a BB gun on your handlebars. <laughs> oh, man. Ben Henry was talking about he would carry water guns. The handle sticking out of his jersey. <laughs> it looked like he had a real gun. Man. <laughs> he, uh, well, Jesse there was, there was a guy that um, uh, he was bike touring, and uh, the police arrested him when crossing the Canadian border because he had like three handguns and like a semi-automatic <laughs> rifle. <laughs> I mean, he was also crossing the Canadian border like in the middle of British Columbia, so like it was in the middle of nowhere, pretty much. So he was he had it for hunting purposes, pretty much. But three handguns for hunting? Yeah, three handguns. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you... It's a 45 cold. People, hand, people use handguns to hunt bears. But if, if you ever... The, the handguns are like this big. I mean, they're like yeah. caliber handguns. They're pretty nasty. It's a big eagle. Yeah. <laughs> the full scope. Are you going into Canada or out? Yeah, into Canada. Oh, okay. That would be a shot one. Our, our conversations are exciting. <laughs> we probably won't edit this one either because we just won't get around to it. Although, have you seen the program? It's the easiest thing in the world to use. Oh, yeah, because you just like select and you're just like, it's like, point, you just point, edit, delete. You, you, you know, like PowerPoint? Mm -hmm. It's like that. It's that easy to use. Yeah. Okay. Better than presentation. It's nine seventeen. I still have thirty seconds. There's been no video of me. They're making me. Now we're filming just like the box. This is my hand. <laughs> this is my other hand. <laughs> Still under ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs>
Ryan's gonna make it like 9.59. <laughs>